Hi, we're going to be looking still at exponent laws. And this time we're looking at what happens if you have an exponent raised to an exponent. So, so what do I mean? Okay, now uh, as always, let's pick an arbitrary number to show it. Let's go with 5, and let's say it's to the power of a already. But then that whole entire thing is itself raised to an exponent. Hmm, well, the rule that happens for this is this is the same as saying 5 to the a times b. So that's the rule we're going to follow. And really, I'm going to show a quick example to show why this makes sense. So what do we got? We, let's say I'm doing 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 4. Well, as always, what does something to the power of 4 mean? It means it's that thing multiplied by itself 4 times. So, well first let's look at what the exponent law tells us. Ooh, well this means this should be 2 to the 3 times 4 equals 2 to the 12. Okay, but again, to the power of 4 means technically we're doing 2 to the power of 3 times 2 to the power of 3 times 2 to the power of 3 times 2 to the power of 3. Kind of fun to say that. But when we did our multiplication law, what does that tell us? Well, that's the same as doing 2 to the power of 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3, which, sure enough, as it must, equals 2 to the 12. So it makes some sense that this power law works. But let's look at some other examples. Let's say I start introducing negative exponents again. Hmm, maybe I have 7 to the power of 3 all to the power of negative 4. 3's and 4's a lot today. So let's switch this actually to 5, negative 5. Well, we still apply the same exact rule. This is 7 to the 3 times negative 5. Or 7 to the negative 15, which if I really want to, I could write as 1 over 7 to the 15. Great. Well, I could also look at some other cases. We looked at one where we had, say, a bracket and an exponent outside of 4. Let's say I have 8 to the 2 and 6 to the 3, all to the power of negative 7. Well, when you have something like this, it gets applied to both. We follow the same rule in both cases. So what do I mean? This is the same as 8 to the 2 times negative 7 and 6 to the 3 times negative 7. As always, a little bit ugly writing, but hopefully you'll forgive me. So we got 8 to the 14, negative 14, and 6 to the negative 21. And if we wanted to, the negatives means we could flip it. We don't necessarily have to. If we're not asked to put everything in positive exponents, maybe we just prefer to write it like that. Maybe not, but often you're going to be asked to put it in positive. Convention is you put it as positive exponents, but looks like I'm going to run out of room on the board, so I'm not going to bother. Now, what if we had the negative exponents in here? Or two negative exponents for that matter. Let's say 5 to the power of negative 12 over 2 to the power of negative 4 all to the power of negative 6. Same exact thing. I can write this as 5 to the negative 12 times negative 6 all over 2 to the negative 4 times negative 6. Or, in other words, 5 to the power of 72 all over 2 to the power of 24. And finally, I think there's one last thing I will demonstrate. Let's say, I'm going to take a similar example to this right here. Let's say I had, I don't know, let's go with the 7 again, and in this case a 2, this one's going to be to the power of 
3, this to the power of 4, all to the power of negative 6. This negative, remember, could mean I could just flip it. So I could flip it first. Two different ways of solving this. I could flip it and make this 2 to the 3 over 7 to the 4, all to the power of 6. And then multiply that in. And that would give me 2 to the, well, 3 times 6, and 7 to the 4 times 6, or 2 to the 18, and 7 to the 24. And just to show you that it does still work out the same, if I had done it the other way, if I had 7 to the 4, and 2 to the 3, all to the negative 6, I plug it in, that gives me 7 to the, well, I'm going to skip some steps this time and go to the negative 24. And this is 2 to the negative 18. Remember, we just multiply it in. But then, if I want to make these positive, I have to flip them. So once again, I get 2 to the 18 and 7 to the 24. As always, the answers much ma must match or I probably did something wrong. And that should give you all you need to know about exponents raised to an exponent themselves.